If you've been looking for a detailed glow up guide that you'll actually see results from, you've clicked onto the right video. Hi, I'm Daniela, and today I'm going to guide you on how to achieve the best version of you. Now let's get into the video so I can give you my best tips on how to glow up this year. Starting off with skin, if you want to have beautiful glowing skin, water, sunscreen, a good cleanser, toner, and moisturizer are your best friends. Water is something that is overlooked too often, and yet it has so many benefits and is crucial to your health. If you're dehydrated, you're actually more vulnerable to getting skin disorders and premature aging. Although there's not a universally agreed answer to how much water you should drink a day, as it all depends on environmental factors like temperature and humidity. Drinking between 1.5 to 2 liters of water a day as a woman is what I've seen being recommended the most though. Getting plenty of sleep at night will also help you a ton when it comes to improving your skin. Using a sunscreen is another great way to avoid skin disorders and premature aging. You should look for a sunscreen that is a broad spectrum with a 30 SPF or higher that is also water resistant, and you should apply it to all exposed areas of your body. You should try to wear sunscreen even on cloudy days as up to 80% of UV rays can still penetrate through the clouds and reach your skin. Washing your face twice a day with a good facial cleanser is a great habit for maintaining healthy and glowing skin. You should try to wash in the morning after you wake up and at night before you go to bed. And when washing your skin, try to be gentle when exfoliating. Use lukewarm water to rinse your skin and then pat dry. It's best to use a tissue to dry your skin instead of a towel as bacteria can get trapped in them and potentially make your skin worse. If you do use a towel, you should keep it outside of your bathroom and wash it once a week. Adding a good toner to your skincare routine will improve your skin by a lot, as toner helps to remove any leftover dirt and grime after you wash your face. It can also help restore your skin's pH level, tighten your pores, and improve your skin tone, so it definitely helps a lot. And finally, using a good moisturizer every day for your face and body will help you tremendously when keeping your skin glowy and soft. You should absolutely prioritize moisturizing daily and staying hydrated to glow up your skin. Learning what skin type you have is so important to having a healthy and radiant complexion. The most commonly seen skin types are oily, dry, combination, and normal. It is so, so important to find the correct products for your skin type. If you'd like me to make a video specifically on skincare products for different skin types, please let me know in the comments below. Using a gua sha tool is not only relaxing, but great for your skin. It helps to improve circulation in your face and is also very therapeutic. I'll be linking some follow along tutorials in the description of this video for those who want to try out a gua sha tool. I also recommend face rollers as they have the same effect on your skin as a gua sha. Having neat and healthy nails are a sign of great hygiene. Using a good nail repair oil with a nail strengthening cream can work wonders on your nails. Even just shaping your nails with a nail file and wearing a clear polish can make your nails look great. I personally love painting my nails with sparkly or shimmery nail polishes as it's simple but still pretty and girly. Having pretty eyelashes and well-groomed brows can significantly improve your appearance. Making sure to remove your makeup properly can make a significant difference to your eyelashes. You can also invest in an eyelash serum to make your lashes thicker and longer. With eyebrows, you can groom and shape them by using an eyebrow razor. To figure out shaping, you should shape them based on what face shape type you have. If you want to get into lip care, I recommend using a lip scrub and then applying either a lip oil or lip balm to your lips. Drinking plenty of water and staying hydrated is also key to keeping your lips soft and moisturized. Smelling delicious is another way to glow up easily. You don't even need expensive perfumes to smell nice. Literally some of my favorite perfumes are under $20 and were purchased at Walmart. Try and find out what your preferred scent is and search for perfumes within your budget range. My favorite type of scents are ones that are sugary sweet or ones that are floral. Here are some of my favorite perfumes that I use regularly and are within my budget. 
Exfoliating your skin regularly helps to remove dead skin cells from the surface of your skin. For me personally, I like to use body scrubs when I'm in the shower or I like to use a dry brush. When exfoliating my face, I like to use a mini dry brush. As I've heard some facial scrubs aren't good to use on your face as it can cause micro tears to the surface of your skin. You can also try out a chemical exfoliant if you'd prefer to do that. Having healthy and shiny hair will also make a huge difference in your appearance. How you wash your hair can impact on how your hair looks, like you shouldn't put shampoo directly onto your head. Instead, wet your hair first, put the shampoo into the palm of your hand, and lather it into your hair. Scrub your hair in vertical or horizontal motions as it prevents tangles and breakage. Leave your shampoo and conditioner in your hair for 5 minutes before rinsing. And when drying out your hair, avoid using a lot of heat as it can dry out and damage your hair. What I like to do is use a blow dryer on the cool mode to avoid heat damage. The type of shampoo and conditioner that you use can also help your hair out by a lot. It's preferable to buy a high quality shampoo and avoid the harsher drugstore brands. Using a high quality shampoo will help keep your hair a lot healthier. Another product that you can try is hair oils. Using a hair oil can keep your hair super moisturized and nourished. It's also great at preventing frizz too. For a nightly hair routine, you can try using a hair sleeping mask to nourish your hair while you sleep. Using a silk or a satin pillowcase can also work wonders on your hair and skin. Not only does it keep you cool and dry all night long, but it works great to prevent bedhead. They are also less prone to collecting bacteria compared to regular pillowcases. Knowing what your exact hair type is will help you tremendously in making your hair look beautiful. Everyone has distinct genetics that demand different things in order to have healthy hair. So understanding what hair type you have is vital. Finding the perfect hairstyle can not only boost your confidence, but it can give you an instant glow up. When searching for hairstyle inspo, keep in mind what your face shape and hair type are. That way you can get a haircut that suits you the best and enhances your facial features. A good haircut will bring out your natural beauty and make you feel great in your body. Now let's get into some healthy habits that will help glow up your life. To feel good, you have to eat good. Eating a cleaner diet not only helps improve your skin and health, but also provides you with more energy to do things like studying or exercising. Eating healthy doesn't have to be hard and can actually be very delicious. You can try searching some inspo on Pinterest for healthy food and find some yummy recipes here on YouTube. And don't be afraid to still treat yourself once in a while too. I try to treat myself on the weekends with junk food like sour candy or hot chips because those are my guilty pleasures. So if you try to be balanced with what you're eating, you're more likely to continue eating well. Exercising is great for your body and also great for your mind. Exercising regularly can improve your blood circulation and also put you in a way better mood. Try to do some beginner exercises on YouTube and comfortably work your way up to some more challenging exercises. I personally try to work out 3 to 4 times a week for 20 to 30 minutes at a time. You should experiment and try to figure out your own exercise schedule that works well with the time that you have. I will also be linking some of my favorite workout videos here on YouTube in the description below. Getting a good night's sleep has a huge impact on your health, physical appearance, and overall well-being. I know it may seem difficult to do, and this is coming from a night owl, but getting on a good sleep schedule can improve your health by so much. If you're a teen, getting 8-10 to 10 hours of sleep every night is ideal. For adults, 7-9 to 9 hours of sleep is recommended, but do what you feel is best for your body and schedule. And a tip to get better rest is to try and avoid blue light 2-3 to three hours before going to bed. Let's get into some tips now on how to elevate your fashion style. Finding your personal style is one of the best ways to express yourself and feel great. Pinterest and Instagram are two of my favorite places to look for style inspo. I love to make mood boards for different styles and aesthetics so I can use them when I go out shopping. If you love anything that's pink, girly, or kawaii, then I definitely recommend you check out my Pinterest account. I will be linking it below for anyone who's interested. Finding out what colors make you feel the happiest will help you feel great too. I know I feel my prettiest in pink. At the end of the day, make sure to stay true to yourself and wear what makes you feel happy, confident, and comfortable.
Figuring out what makes you feel the most comfortable in your own skin is super important. Dressing for your body type can highlight the best features of yourself. The most common body shapes you'll see are apple, pear, hourglass, rectangle, and triangle. Please remember that there's no quote-unquote perfect body shape and that all body types are beautiful in their own way. You should pick out pieces that will make you feel the most confident and comfortable within your body. Accessorizing is key. Having on the right accessories can elevate your look by so much. It also adds a lot of visual interest to your outfit if you layer a bunch of pretty details on. If you're interested in seeing a more in-depth guide on accessorizing, please comment below and I'll consider making a video on Accessorizing 101. We've reached what I think is the most important part of having an actual glow up and that is achieving wellness. Now let's get into all of my tips for wellness and what you can do to significantly improve your well-being. Keeping your space clean is something that can make a huge impact on your mental well-being. I just know that some of you guys watching this have a pile of clothes in the corner of your room right now that has been collecting dust for a few weeks. So I suggest that you get up and organize that pile now. Trust me, you will feel so much better after doing that. Keeping your space neat and organized can do wonders on your mental well-being. I mean, think about it. How can you think clearly if you're in an environment that's chaotic and messy? It's best to steer clear of gossip and other types of negative energy. Negative energy can leave you feeling emotionally drained. If there are people in your life who only think or speak about negative things, it's better to stay away from them. Try to surround yourself with positive people as it can make a huge difference in how you feel. Learn how to be alone with only your thoughts. I feel like in the modern age, it's so hard to not constantly want to do something to distract yourself like doom scrolling on TikTok or playing video games. There are so many things that you can do now that don't require you to ever be with yourself or your thoughts. Try to self-reflect once in a while and think about what actions and goals you want to achieve in life. Giving yourself a clear mind can also bring out creativity, so let your mind wander without external distractions. If you constantly think negatively and you're down on yourself, how are you going to achieve the best version of you? Engaging in mindful practices like meditation or saying daily loving affirmations is a good step to improving your self-love. Like RuPaul said, If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Start romanticizing your life by taking time to appreciate all of the little joys and beauties of your daily existence. Starting a gratitude journal is a great and affordable way to start appreciating the blessings you already have. Plus, you can also make your journal look super cute by adding stickers and little doodles to it. Even appreciating small things like eating your favorite foods or watching a beautiful sunset will make a big difference to your happiness and mindset. And those are all of my glow up tips. I hope this video was helpful and that you're able to start achieving the best version of you. If you've watched this entire video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Before I go, let me send you all off with my love and I'll catch you in my next video. Mwah!